welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With. Uh, we're still going down the list of teams doing their total wins over under props. Uh, we're on the San Francisco 49ers right now. Uh, without no further ado, let's hop on into the sports book. FanDuel has them going over or under 10 and a half games, guys. It's pretty good um, prop for them. Do you think they're going to win versus the Pittsburgh Steelers? Now, this is going to be a tough matchup. I think the 49ers are favored. Brock Purdy, uncertainty. But I think with the defense coming back for the 49ers, Christian McCaffrey, um, you got Debo Samuel, and they got a lot of people out there. Um, and they, they know how to play call. Um, 2-0 versus the L.A. Rams. I think 49ers will win their division pretty easily. I think they become 3-0 versus the Giants. 4-0, 5-0. They could lose one of these games. Um one of these four games, I think. Uh, they could lose versus the Browns. Depends how Deshaun Watson really comes out and plays. Um, I think the Browns win this game and, and drops them to 5-1. and one. Then they pick back up 6-1 and one versus the Vikings. They lose this versus the Bengals. 6-2. and 6-3 and three versus the Jags. I think Jags can surprise a lot of people in this matchup as well. They're going to beat them 7-3. Uh, and three. I think they split with the Seahawks. They're going to beat them 8-3 and three right here. Going to lose to the Eagles. 8-4. Um, and 8-5. 9-5. 10-5. 11-5. 12-5 and five record. Then they have a 12-5 record finish in the season. Over that 10.5 mark. Only games I see him losing more. Uh, this is the bulk of their schedule right here. Um, the Browns, Vikings, for the Bengals, and Jags are four tough matchups they're going to have, and that's going to be beginning of the year. They beat them this smooth sailing for the 49ers. Then you got the Eagles and the Ravens, and then you just got to worry about the Seahawks in your division. Everybody else, Cardinals, Commanders, Rams, a lot of people are going to wave us off, but Commanders could have a potential to uh, throw some something off, but I don't think so. Um, I have the 49ers winning 12 games, 11 if minimum. Um, definitely 11 to 12, 13 teams, 13 games as well. Um, and they're up there with as many. We can't even put them on a ticket no more, y'all. I don't feel all of this up for 25. Imagine we could have hit a parlay on this, man. I'm telling you one of these would have hit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But no further ado, uh, the 49ers, yes, are going to win more than 11 games, 10 games this season coming up. Um, I do have them up there with a couple teams, handful of teams that could have the chance to win 13 games. That's the Jaguars, the um, 49ers, um, and another team in the AFC. Uh, is it the Chargers? Yeah, Chargers as well. Um, I don't think the Chiefs will win that many games. Their schedule is really hard, really hard. Um, all right, guys, no further ado. Uh, that concludes the 49 video. They're pretty good. We already know about them. The question is, is Brock Purdy is going to be starting? He was starting in the preseason. He looks pretty good as long as they have uh, – depends how his season turns out too. Um, is he really uh, you know, a good quarterback how he was or he just got you no know, rookie luck? And then you're always going to have that sophomore slump. So we're really going to tell this season. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We got more news, highlights, videos, podcasts, sports bets, videos coming out. We're going to uh, be doing high school highlights of oh, Tropical Cafe Smoothie. Um, high school highlights of the high school students of premier matchups around the DMV area. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the journey that we have. Bringing it to you guys as well. Uh, catch you guys on the next episode.